episode of the Sean Farrell podcast. I am Sean Farrell. God is great all the time. All the time, God is great. And let's not waste no time. Let's get right to it. So I saw a post by Suicide Prevention Awareness. Okay. And um, they had a post that said, this is what depression looks like. Okay. And it had the faces of some of the most Famous people in the world from Whitney Houston to Robin Williams. Okay. Just to name a few. And um, the post read, you can have everything and still feel nothing. Um, these famous faces all had demons to face, but you may have never known because you can look happy and be suffering inside. You never truly know. Um, I have posted I have posted this before, but this is very important because everyone knows these people. It's a good way to raise awareness that even the happiest and the wealthiest of people can be suffering extremely. This is why we need to be aware of anyone who suffers. Okay. So, um, yeah. Um. Suicide touches everyone, okay? It can touch me. It can touch you who's watching. It can touch the warehouse worker. It can touch the delivery driver. It can touch the um, office worker at the desk. It can touch the um, garbage man. It can touch the everyday common man, the everyday woman. Um, it can touch... Um, children um girls boys um suicide can touch anybody and suicide really doesn't have a face okay it's invisible you just never know what someone is going through and that's why um be kind is just so greatly emphasized you never know what somebody's going through okay so always be kind okay so suicide has no face right it's invisible and i just talked about the post by suicide awareness that um depression can look like this okay and it is completely invisible okay um which brings you to the topic of um a former bas basketball player named mel Turpin, okay. Now Turpin was um, starred from the University of Kentucky. Excuse me. Mel Turpin was a former basketball player from the University of Kentucky, and then played five seasons with the Cavaliers, the Jazz, and the Bullets before he retired. But Mel Turpin had always struggled with his weight, okay? He had always struggled with, with his weight. And um, that was the issue for him in his playing career, was his weight, okay? And um, there were some teammates that called him, um, what was the name, nickname? They called him Dinner Bell Mel. Dinner Bell Mel, I think they called him, okay? But um, after five seasons, he retired from um, basketball. And um, so it was around 2010, I, I believe. Um, let me check. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Any 10. Yeah. Any 10. Um. Mel Tarkin was 49 and um, 
And um, when he ended his life, there were those who said he never looked upset. He always kept a smile on his face. Just a good person. But they ne never knew. But they never knew. They never knew that he was hurting inside. They never knew he was hurting it inside. Never looked upset. Kept a smile on his face. Just a good person. You can have everything and still feel nothing, okay? And so, um, just a little bit of a background. He was selected by the Bullets. Um, six overall in the 84 draft. Then he was traded to the Cavaliers. Um, for her season, he averaged 10 and a half points and shot 51 per percent as a rookie for the uh, Cavaliers. Um, then he averaged 13 points to heaven points in 1986. Then he was replaced by Brad Doherty um, in 1987. Okay. And so um, played a year with the Jazz in 1988, played overseas in 89, then came back and played for the Washington Bullets in 1990, and then he retired. Okay. But, um, but, um, yeah. Depression can look like smiling faces, always looking happy. That's exactly what Mel Turpin was. Always had a smile on his face, looked happy. Just a very good guy. And yet he ended his life, okay? Depression is invisible. Suicide is invisible, okay? And you just need to take this. We just need to have, keep it. And having more conversations about all this, okay? So, um, to make it okay to talk, talk about what you're going through, okay? It's okay to talk about what you're going through. It's okay not to be okay. So, if you're not feeling okay, that, hey, that's okay. You always have 988. You always have 988. You can call our text. 988 you always got the crisis text line okay not only that you have the Memphis crisis center too okay so three good options okay three good options if you're struggling if you're struggling I encourage you to get it help okay it's the best thing you can do okay the absolute very best thing you, you can do okay getting help will change your your life okay getting help will change your, your life for for the uh positive okay yes it will all right that's it that's all for the sean Farrell podcast i am sean Farrell. i am out of here thank you and god bless you all peace out